Hello YouTube. Well, I'm gonna show you what my idea of a quail tractor turned out to be. Kind of made this triangle frame and made it four foot by eight foot. And you see the wire that kind of comes out from the cage. This is to keep the predators from being able to dig into it because it does not have a floor in it. I want it to where they could have access to the grass and bugs and dirt to where they could really be what you call pasture raised. Now, this right here is their little enclosure that I'm actually going to put a tarp over to where it, it, to make it weatherproof a lot better than it is the way it is right there. I haven't got it 100% done. I still got to put the finishing touches of wire on this corner here and then the end right here. But you can see how I'll cut the little hole there and the tin for them to go in and out. And then I took some hose pipe and made it to where they wouldn't cut themselves getting in and out on the sharp edge of the tin. I also put split the hose and went all the way around it up under the bottom to keep the wood off the dirt. Uh, and not to mention that when you slide it, it makes it slide a little better. But I use these oil pans for the door because they just open. You take these bolts here off and they just open out. And I use hose pipe over the hinge. So let's uh let's get it open and I'll show you the inside because that's where their food and water is, is on the inside here. Well there went that nut so let's get it up. Now I'm going to change that part right there. That's really the only part that I don't like how it came out. But like I said, it's the rest of it I think turned out pretty good. I really, I really think that it's going to work real good as far as raising these quail on dirt itself. Uh, I know a lot of you just do the wire bottom cages and there's nothing wrong with that. Just I think the quail theirself, I know since I've took mine out of the wire bottom cage and put them in here, they have really been having a good time digging around and jumping around, acting like they want to try to fly. And they've been, it just seems like, it just seems like a better way for them to, to be than just being on the cage all the time. They actually get in here and stretch out and lay down to where I never noticed them doing that while they was in the wire bottom cages. So let's open this thing up. And that way you can see the inside. This one here, I don't think, I don't think you'll have any trouble uh, doing like 45, 40, yeah, 45 to 50 birds in one this size. Right now there's 31 in it and they seem to have plenty of room. And you're gonna be moving it every day anyway. I mean, if you want to, you can move it every week or whatever you wanna do. But you can give them brand new ground every day and it'll just make it to where everything's fresh for them. And I mean, they really, tear this ground they've only been on this ground right here what six seven hours since this morning and you can see you can see how they already dug holes and here's a whole bunch of them piled up in the corner right here but and you can tell they ain't really too worried about me being right here over them but you see right there where they've dug all that dirt out 
they really, like I said, they really seem to like it. And I think I'm gonna keep building these uh, to raise these quail like this, cause I think in the end, I mean, I might be wrong about this, but I believe in the end, if you wanna raise these to put in the freezer, I think them being pasture raised like this is probably gonna produce a better tasting product. Uh, now, as far as the eggs, probably won't be no whole lot of difference, but see, there's the water right there. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to hang it. I'm going to hang it by that two by three right there. And there's the feeder. And there's the egg beside the feeder. So I don't lay the egg in there. But that's, that's the setup. And I said, you see how it just, I use those, those boards there, hose up under them. Now, I probably am going to come back on top because these screws here, I don't think will last that long like that. So I'm going to put, uh, probably going to go and just put a hose right down through there to screw them on to give them something extra, to, just a little extra bite to hold them. Because you can see right there where I knocked a hole in it. But, but that's it. Like I said, this right here is exactly the way it is and by no means waterproof. So that's why I get a tarp, cut it down, and run the tarp, my, I think, run it out here to about a foot or so out here. And it gives them a little shade spot on the grass. But it also, you know, you bring it on out here and come over to the end right here and it will make it to where it's 100% dry, 100% waterproof out of the weather uh, for them. And that's gonna be what I do to wrap this project up. If you wanna know my material list, just hit me up and I'll figure up everything that I got in this thing because I mean, it really ain't much. Uh, it may, $50, I don't know, but somewhere in that ballpark, $50 to build this thing. Maybe a little less, maybe a little more. I'm not exactly sure because a lot of this stuff I had laying around here, like the tin, for example. I got so much tin down in the barn, it's not funny. So I didn't have to buy that. And these pans right here, I know if you go buy those, you don't, but I mean, you can build a door out of a thousand different things. And so, I mean, that is kind of an expensive way to do that because two of those are like 30, 32 bucks by themselves. And like I said, but you can do that a thousand and one different ways. Uh, hose pipe was an old hose pipe that, that I threw, that I ran, ran over with the lawnmower. And so, and not to mention to, to pull it around the yard. Well, hose pipe again, and it works good. It works really good. And these things here, like I said, just keep predators from digging under the wood itself. When you get ready to move it, all you gotta do is just flap it up like that right there. That way it's not dragging on the ground. Whenever you put it on this new piece of dirt and they set them up for the night, you just lay it back down. But like I said, that's that's it in a nutshell. I believe it'll actually save on the on the food they eat also because I mean they really do tear this grass up and whatever bugs and I don't know what they're digging for, some kind of grubs or whatever it's in the ground here. But I mean they just are digging and pecking away. I mean you see these right here. They just having a good old time digging around and pecking in the ground. But like I said, I I think they're gonna like it a whole lot. Well, I know they like it a whole lot better. I know how they were acting in the wire bottom cage versus me putting them in here. The first day they, it was kind of strange to them, which was yesterday. Uh, but now they running in and out and popping around like they were wanting to try to fly and stretch their wings and uh, they're just having a good time so 
But like I said, if you got any questions, uh, feel free to hit me up. Uh, if you got any ideas that makes it better, uh, leave, leave your comments. I'd like to know what you think about it. Until next time, have a good day.